And lastly, I got my Erin Condren box, and I'm really excited about this. They, and then I got Baby Boy his first clothing. And I'm, and I'm hopefully still strong. Wow! Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm starting out the vlog a little bit differently because I want to show you something that I'm really excited about. And this video isn't sponsored at all. I actually purchased this makeup full price. Just wanted to show you because I'm really excited that I'm going to start using beauty counter makeup. As long as I like it, uh, because I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to tell you in this vlog how I like it. Right now I'm going to put it on for the first time. I've got a ton of products, so I'm just going to show you which ones I got. And I'll probably just put it on off camera and then show you like the finished look so I don't take too long in this vlog showing you because I know some people might not be interested in it. But look at all these products that I got. I'm really excited about it. And I just thought maybe it would be fun to just show them all. So I'll take them out of their little packages really quick and then I'll go through and show you what I got. So this is the resurfacing peel and I haven't tried it yet because I just got this in the mail yesterday. But I'm really excited to try this. I think I'm going to try it out tonight and see how it works. I heard about Beauty Counter from Alex Congelier. If you watch her channel, Phil and Alex, um, she talks about it and she's a consultant. So I purchased this under her and I'm not a consultant yet or anything because I of course want to make sure that I like the makeup first. But it would be really fun to be a consultant if I end up really liking the makeup. So the next one that I got from the skincare line is a lip conditioner and it is peppermint. And I haven't yet used this. So this is one of the things that I was really excited for and also the lipstick and lip gloss because I have an issue with my lips getting really dry a lot so I really want to see if this can help me out. And I will keep you updated. It probably takes a while I'm sure to use consistently but it feels really good on my lips. I feel like it's a lot more effective than chapstick but it's almost like a clear gloss. So I got the four piece makeup kit with the eyeshadow. That came with eyeshadow, bronzer, sheer lipstick, and a brow pencil. And then I also got the Flawless in 5 with a touch-up concealer pen, lip gloss, tint skin, which I'm really excited to try this foundation. And then I also got volumizing mascara and blush with that set. And then the two add-ons that I got were the liquid eyeliner and the mattifying powder. Because I heard this makes a big difference and it kind of makes your makeup look more finished. So I really wanted those. And I'm going to start out by just trying this foundation. Okay, I just got all of my makeup on and now I'm going to put this lip gloss on. Actually, this is the lipstick and it's the Sheer Lipstick Lily is the shade. And it's really pretty. I'm going to try it on. And I also got a lip gloss. I got the, let's see what shade I got. Bare Shimmer is the shade that I got. I think Alex Congelier recommended this on her channel. I really like it. I tried it on last night. I like the feeling of it on your lips too. It's not sticky, so I really like that. I really like the mascara. It made my eyelashes really nice. And I think the um, eyeliner actually, because it's this liquid eyeliner, I think it kind of got on my eyelashes before I put the mascara on. So they were already a little bit darker than normal. And I curled them too with just my typical eyelash curler. So I'm really a fan of this makeup so far. The only things that I didn't really like were... I really like the liquid eyeliner, how it looks on my eyes right now. Looking in the mirror, I really like it. But I didn't like how it went on because it was really messy. Like my hands, I have to wash them, but it got all over my hands because I had to wipe it off a lot. With my other eyeliner, I can just like do one swipe and it's good. But this one I had to, I don't know. And I'll probably do a makeup routine once I get um, a makeup routine down with this because it's so new, I need to practice a little bit. Maybe I could answer some questions while I put my makeup on and just do like a little get ready with me. But I really like this makeup look. So let me know what you think in the comments if you can tell a difference between my normal makeup and this. I also loved the eyeshadow. I forgot to say that. But I'll show you my eyeshadow palette. So here it is. And I really loved, I think it was this ivory color at the top. It's very shimmery. And I put it all over my eye, like the top of my eyebrow up here in my eyelid and then I used um, burnished and copper so these two over here 
And then the other thing is, it, on camera, it kind of looks like my face is a little bit darker than the rest of my body, but I tan up really quick in the summer and I didn't want to get super light colors because my face is a little bit darker than my chest right now anyways, just because I haven't been in the sun. But as soon as the sun comes out here and I get some sun, um, it'll match better. And then also I might have used a little bit too much of the bronzer today. If I wouldn't have used that, it probably wouldn't have been such a tan look. But just in case you were wondering and thought that my makeup looked a little off, um, that's probably why. But the foundation matched my skin really well. Now, of course, in usual fashion, I'm going to show you guys a little haul because you know my shopping problems. So I'm going to show this to you right now. I got this little book from Target. Actually, all this stuff is from Target that I'm going to show you. I got this little potty book because we also got Bernie a potty off of Amazon. And I'll show you what potty we picked out for her too. It was just um, on sale for $15. And it's the same one that my sister has. So I ended up getting her the same potty and I'll show that to you in just a minute. But I got this little P is for potty book, Elmo. And so we can start talking about the potty more. And then also I got her some little activities. So this is a little activity pad. And then the markers are the mess free markers. And she's gonna love this because she's really into puppy dog pails right now. She's really just into puppies in general. And then I also got her this one. And I did not know it was activities. I thought it was more of like coloring, but she's not going to know any better. She'll like this too. She just likes to have like little pads to hold. So she's going to like this. And then I got her this frozen color and sticker pages, 50 plus stickers. And I think this was like $5. And I also got her this baby shark book. I know this is going to be her favorite one because it has a ton of stickers. I think it has, yeah, over 500. So it's just filled with baby shark stickers and she loves baby shark. So she's gonna love that. And then it has the pages that you can put them on. So I'm excited to show her this. And then I got baby boy his first clothing and I'm so excited. I just got some little pajamas. I got these and these aren't the cutest pajamas but I really wanted these ones just for these two pair. I like this little bear pair on the top. And then I really liked this pair with the little trees. I thought that was so cute and it's like a neutral. So I really wanted that one. So then I got this set. And I think it was on sale for like $10 for three pair or something like that. So I thought it was a good little deal. And lastly, I got my Erin Condren box. And I'm really excited about this. They sent me this package and it's because the new collection came out. Um, I'm not sure what it's called. I'm going to insert that here, but they sent me this package and I'm going to put my link in the description box below if you're interested in any Erin Condren products. You can shop through that link and then I'll link this planner down below too. But I picked out this planner. It has the cream cover and it's the binder and then it has the neutral inside. And I'll just show you a little bit here. It's the life planner and it has an overview of all the months and then it starts in July. And each month, of course, has its own little tab, its own calendar. It has a notes page, and then this is all blank. Uh, it's different from last year's because they don't have any headers up here. You can make these little sections anything you want to make them. Like you could put your goals in, you could put people's birthdays, you could put a Bible verse at the beginning of each month, and I think that's really cool. And then I got the hourly. You can also just get it without the hours wrote on the days, but I wanted to try this out, so... I'm excited about this and I can't wait to try it. And then I'm going to show you everything else in here. So it's actually an 18 month planner, but I took out the last six months just to make it a little bit easier to use, a little skinnier, so. So I took that out and then um, I'm gonna show you the rest of the stuff that I received in here. This was just a little postcard. Here I have a little sticker book it looks like and I'm gonna open this up quick. It said designer sticker book, so it just has some decorative stickers in it. Really cute. And let's see. These circles. Hello weekend, me time, to do, notes, appointments, and washi. Cute. And then it came with this little pen. So this is in here. It's a cute little box. It came with these little cards, a hole punch for the binder in case you want to add any pages in, this little insert that you can write on with dry erase markers, and I have some dry erase markers so that'll be perfect, 
priorities, to-do list, and you can clip this right into your binder. And what else is in here? Let's see. These, it looks like these are some more little um, cards that you can give to people. Just you lift me up, some cute little things. Here are some post-it notes, some, and then some more stickers. So it looks like this is a few sheets of stickers, and those will be really nice to have. And then also the ruler in the bottom here. So I'm so excited that they sent me this. So Brynn ended up coming home and taking a nap here. It's about 5.15 and she's still sleeping because she got down for a really late nap. It was about 4 when she went to sleep. So I just put her down and I'm looking quite large today. Usually you can't tell in a sweatshirt that I'm pregnant, but now you can definitely tell. I'm at that stage where it's not going to be hidden anymore. And I've been packing just the last probably 20 minutes because we're going to the cabin tomorrow and we're going to take you guys along with us. All the girls are going to be there because Lauren and Jake are coming and then my sister Olivia and Tyler are coming because they're here and everyone's coming so the whole family's going to be there. We have all the food packed here and then I have in the fridge I'll show you. Oh boy, I think my fridge is kind of messy. But I have this little section here that we have all packed for food we need to put in the cooler. And then I have Bryn's clothes over here packed, and I also have my clothes packed in my bedroom as well, so I need to get those in a bag, and we're making some good progress. We're at the lake house. I was playing. Here they come. Hi. Brittany's taking a nap, so it's just the two girls right now. Does she look comfortable? Yeah, she looks cute. <laughs> Excited! Oh my goodness, this is a big Here come the parents. Can you come down? Yeah. Say hi to the vlog. Stop yeah. it. <laughs> We're gonna go find some beach glass. Those clothes look fun. Ella, are you having fun? <laughs> it's hot enough to be like yeah. the water and come out like this. Yeah. Yeah, Ella, you want over here? Ella, let's around, go over this way. Oh, that Do you have a little snack for me? Whoa, you almost tumbled over. Brittany, look at Mama. Say cheese. Bye. You want some bunnies? Hey, Mama, get them out for you. wild one over here. Show me how you sing Moana.
here's all the beach glass that we found today. A little green one. And I actually found this piece. This little blue piece. Thanks, Luke. So cool. And then Drew found a Potaski stone. Oh, thank you, Luke. And then there's a couple like seashells and rocks in here. But there it is. Successful day. Bryn, did you take a tubby? Hey. Look at mine. Brynny, did you take a bath? She's ignoring me. She doesn't like to be on camera. Did <laughs> she do that? Just ignore you. Yeah. <laughs> Bryn got her bath and she's all Who's clean. That? Who's that, Bryn? That's you. No. See that, Nicole? Ella, did you take See a shower and she shower? That's what you're looking forward to. You got all clean and now it's time to play. You and Dave. She's got her Polly Pockets. That's your future <laughs> Hi! We're doing a little bath time in here. Abby's the last one. What, Ella? I got my Care Bears. Wow, I love your Care Bears. Ella, are you sleeping at the cabin tonight? <gasps> Brittany! Where are you? Oh, I said cabin, I meant cottage. <gasps> Where'd you go? Peekaboo! Oh, we're all in our jammies, our matching pajamas tonight. Are you sleeping at the cottage tonight? Yes. Yeah. Where did Abby go? Bed. To bed. <laughs> I'm hugging my Kirby. Oh, that's cute. We're gonna hug all the baby. Yeah. Did you guys get it? 